Now then guys, hope you're all okay. I just um, thought I'd uh, do a little mini review on my BSA Ultra C, what's come back from AirTech. Like I said on my uh, hunting video when I was using the HW95. So she's all back. So I'll just do a little talk and then we've set uh, some targets out there. There's my zero range there. And then after that I'll do a little group at 20 yards and then uh, show you what it can do at 50-55 um, yards on a little spinner. And there's my mate Andy there, just uh, he's about to start doing some pellet testing on his Webley Raider 2, two the two shot version. Yeah, so for anyone that's uh, familiar with the BSA Ultra C anyway, you'll notice that it's got a, a bigger air cylinder. This is actually a 325mm. It's had a, a fully working shroud, which sounds unbelievable, you can hardly hear it. And it's also been fitted with a fully working regulator, one of um, Carl Zone's Airtex regulators. And it is, uh, it's absolutely amazing. The consistency is unbelievable. I used to get 35 shots and they were very inconsistent shots when I did a string sh uh, shot. So that's one of the reasons why I opted to get it upgraded. And so yeah, he took it from 35 shots to uh, over 11 magazines and that's still only at a 200 bar fill. And now obviously with the regular air it can be filled to 235. So yeah, it is, uh, and he's also upgraded the hammer spring as well. And just the actions had a you know a general tune and stuff like that, and it is absolutely amazing. So I don't want to do too much talking. So I'll just uh, get my scope mount uh, mounted on top of top of my Vermin FS now, and uh, yeah, we'll see what it can do. Yeah, so guys, I just before we started, uh, I put two shots on just to check to see if I was in zero. So like I said, my zero is 20 yards. And that's where we're shooting from over there. And then yeah, if I just take you a little walk down here. So that sticks a 25 yard marker. There's my friend Andy's uh, 30 yards, so he's uh if I just show you this anyway, if anyone's interested in any sample packets, you got it from the uh from them. And you know it's great. Because you can just rip them off and then use these as targets and he knows which are which and stuff. And then if you come back out to here, from where I'm sat at the minute, the spinner is at 40, 40 yards and I've just put some sticks on with some shotgun shells. So yeah, it is a, you know, if I just get down the inside of targets here, it is a fair distance, but I'm not actually, when I shoot at the spinner, I'm actually going to be shooting further away behind where that factory is on the right over there and that'll be from 50 to 55 yards and I'm quite glad because yesterday the wind was absolutely horrible and it's just completely died down today so it's absolutely perfect and like I say I am going to be aiming for this little spinner and it's a really small target at that range and uh, yeah I'll see if I can uh, get three out of three shots on there for you so we'll do a little grouping first to show you how consistent it is yeah, so I'll just do five shots at that, obviously you can see my little white target at the range, there's no point in zooming in because uh, you can't see the pellet holes anyway, so I'll just walk up to it after that, so I'll do five shots near the two what I just put in, and uh, we'll see how it is, and then I'll take uh, five shots when I put, again, when I'll put the camera up near the target so you can hear how efficient this uh, shroud actually is. So that's the Ultra C, and that's obviously the shot from the Webley Raider. Right, finishes with a right whack as well, so it's a 177. Right, 
right, last shot, we'll go look at the target and then I'll set the camera up near the target. Shot was five shots. <laughs> right, it's run down there now, anyway. Uh, so, there you go. It's like, you know, smaller than a five pence piece, that is, obviously. But Add that into the group. That was the, one of the part of the two shots what I pulled in before. So if we eliminate them there, then that's the group what I just did. And as you can see, I didn't exactly take, you know, like loads of time in the, each shot. So that's really good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my mate Andy finish his pellet test, and then uh, we'll push these uh, ranges out a bit further. Oh, and I'll obviously have these five shots now uh, with the camera set up near the target. Sorry. So yeah, this time I'll uh, I'll aim around this part for you for a fresh group. I'll just have five shots and you can hear how quiet the ultra is at a distance and this is only 20 yard distance away as well, so... So there you go, there's uh, another five shots. Oh, the camera's a bit unfocused now, sorry. Yeah, so there's another five shots. And like I say, I'm not editing this video, so, you know, they're all taken in pretty, pretty fast, so, yeah, it's absolutely excellent, that is. So now we'll just wait till my friend's finished, and then we'll uh, have a few shots at a 55, 55 yard spinner. And now I'll just take three shots at a... Uh, that little tiny spinner. There you go, you must have heard that. Right slap. Don't know if you'd be able to see it spin from all the way over here. Well, unfortunately, I've only got one more pellet in my magazine as well, so I'll have to quickly switch mags. We go two out of two, 55 yards. Let's quickly change that. It's a good thing about having a multi shot PCP. Out with one magazine, in with another. So here we go, let's make this a free shot. Yeah, there you go, so there's three shots at the spinner from from the 55 yard mark I just uh, come out now because my battery's running out now so I'll just uh, walk down there we've already been down there from there and then I'll put it there and uh, we'll have another one or two shots
Yeah, so there we go guys. Four out of five. I actually had to run back there, so I was a little bit out of breath. But yeah, four out of five. I was going to have a shot at the two cartridges, but I just don't have enough battery. So yeah, BSA, Ultra C, AirTech tuned, guys. Well worth the money. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.